In my previous video I mentioned why I have certain issues with the slogan all babies are atheists. Um, further to that, I'd like to point out um, something that I think is central that a lot of people seem at least to overlook. One would presume that a good parent has brought a child into the world with a sense of obligation, a sense that it is necessary to teach this child a number of things. Uh, the child is a blank slate and is apparently ready to learn all kinds of things. A good parent, in my opinion, and I think generally most societies would agree with me, would say uh, to this child, this is what I have learned about the world that I have brought you into it, that I have brought you into, rather. And this is how best to cope with this world that I have brought you into. In my opinion, um, the litmus test for whether or not this is good advice is the love that I feel for you as, the, as a child. I want you, uh, child, to have the best possible experience of this world, and because of that, I wish to impart this knowledge on you, or this experience perhaps upon you, of what I believe is the best way to cope with this world. I brought you into this world, therefore I think that it's incumbent upon me, uh, because of my love, to impart this experience. I think that's what a good, per a good parent does. What do we call it, or what conclusions, or <clears throat> what uh, evaluation, I guess, should we place upon a parent who brings a child into the world and says, this is the way reality is, and you are forbidden to think otherwise, and anyone who does think otherwise is wrong. Teaching a child to cope with the world is not the same as insisting that it, the child adapt, or adopt rather, a certain view of what reality itself is and categorically and irrationally rejects all others. I know that what I'm doing here is somewhat caricaturing the second uh, point of view, but I think that it's an important distinction, even though I am sort of uh, being deliberately um, sort of, uh, I guess, bipolar in my characterizations of the two points of view. Being a good parent and indoctrination, indoctrinating a child are not the same thing. Teaching a child what reality is and putting, in my opinion, fetters on that child's mind and perhaps on their emotions and many other things is not, in my opinion, what a good parent does. A good parent teaches a child based on experience with uh, the ultimate impetus for that being love what the world is like and how best to deal with the world is not in any way to be confused with indoctrination. I think indoctrination might be arguably uh, some sort of harm being placed on a child. Um, And indoctrination can take many forms. It's not just theism. One can indoctrinate a child in just about anything. Not that I'm saying that uh, being a parent is uh, an easy thing to do and that avoiding indoctrination is an easy thing to do. I'm just trying to make the distinction 
between the two points of view. Just because we don't, or we consciously attempt not to indoctrinate a child, doesn't mean that we neglect that child's welfare in any way at all, including teaching that child how best to conduct itself in this world. Thank you.